Okay, so every single person covers their ears when I sing the Reunited song. And because of our next guests, we just had to. reunion going on. They both start on the wildly popular TV series Desperate Housewives. Now this amazing duo is back to help us count down to Christmas. Please say hello to James Denton and Terry Hatcher. Hi. Hi. Hey, OG. How are you? and it feels so good. It does. It's right. Uh, right? <laughs> that pretty much sums it all uh, up, all up because we, we love everything about this reunion, and I would like the record to show that I love the storyline of this movie, love every character in this movie except one person, a person whose name I will not mention. Can You, you already know who it is. I'm not saying his name. Your co-worker. Oh, the character. Yeah, him. The, what? Ba the bad guy. Oh, yeah, Sean? he's real to oh, me. Oh, the bad guy. Oh, oh he's good. real to me. You're not supposed to like him. <laughs> exactly, he's real to You're me. supposed to like us. There always has to be a bad guy. I know, but he's, that's what I mean. Like, every yep. single thing about this movie, we, we love. So talk to us about the movie. It's called A Kiss Before Christmas. Mm hmm Wow. Well, you know, in a nutshell, it's my character is a, a middle-aged guy who's frustrated with his career, thinks he's been too nice, because um, he just lost a promotion because he wasn't cutthroat enough, and he he hasn't given his family enough. And Terry's m my wife in the movie. We have two kids, and I just plop down at the train station and start complaining to this Santa Claus that I think is just a department store Santa. Turns out he's the real guy. He goes, "Oh, really? You wish you had done everything differently?" And then uh, maybe everything's not so great that way. So I get to I experience being successful and rich, but wait, where's my wife? Where are my kids? So it's a little bit of a lesson, and not just be careful what you wish for, but be thankful for what you have. Um, so the whole movie, I'm trying to get Terry back. And so she gets to play two characters, my yep. wife in the beginning, and then the, the woman in the rest of my life who doesn't, who can't stand me. So uh, we had to get, find the right actress who could, who could play two different characters often on the same day. Um, she was perfection. And we have a clip and we'll take a look and discuss. Okay, just remember, I told you this was gonna make you question my sanity. Oh, I'm counting on it. <sighs> yeah, right. I have this problem that I have to solve, but I need somebody to talk with, somebody that I trust. You. We don't know each other. About that. Um, I'm not the Ethan Holt that you think I am. It's a long story, but it all started just a few days ago when I met Santa in a train station. Told you. We all chuckled. <laughs> we all chuckled at that, Miss Hatcher. She didn't believe it. But, and then I, then I spend, you know, the next 45 minutes trying to convince her that I'm not crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and we can tell how much fun you guys had just by watching it. Like I stayed, I was like, I have to watch this. I need to see this. And I love the plot line. I love the different versions that you guys play. And we know it's the mo most wonderful time of the year because of movies like this. So, Miss Hatcher, when do we know it's, the it's that time of the year? When do you put your Christmas tree up? Oh, gosh. Well, I have a lot of Christmas traditions in my house. I build a giant Christmas town on top of my piano every year. I have a nine-foot Christmas tree. I cook Christmas Eve dinner for 25 people. Um, but this year, I had to put, is the earliest I've ever built the Christmas town on top of my piano. Oh, wow. um, I did it last weekend because I'm gonna be traveling in Europe the first part of December and I wasn't gonna have time. So I already have started Christmas in my house. I already have my town built. Um, last year I did a, a time-lapse Instagram story of me building my Christmas town and people got to see how magical it really is. So I'm gonna post that in a few days and if you're interested, you can check it out. But I love the holidays and I love that I'm on this Hallmark movie and it's been so great to work with James again. And I really feel like any Desperate Housewives fans that thought Mike and Susan got a crappy ending. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> They're going to get to live vicariously through the these different characters, yes. but the happy ending that we have in this movie. Uh, let me tell you, today is the happiest day of our assignment editor, Virginia. 
she said she went into journalism because of your character, <laughs> Lois. Uh, uh, no, no joke, Lois Lane. So she went into journalism because of you. She's going crazy upstairs. So you just gave her a wonderful early Christmas present just by appearing. She's on the 10th on the floor jumping up and down. So thank you for the love that you guys bring through your talent. Uh -huh. Thank you for this wonderful movie. It's such a treat chatting with the both of you. A kiss before Christmas, everyone. It airs this Sunday night on Hallmark Channel. Bye, Mr. Denton. Bye, Ms. Hatcher. Thank you. Thank you for having us. See you soon. I'm coming to your Christmas town.